I'm Amanda Moll. Um, I'm a second year doctoral student at the Eastman School of Music, um, studying with David Higgs. When I sit at an instrument, um, there are different types of actions that uh, you have to get used to as an organist. It's almost kind of like driving a car. Um, every car feels different. It has a different character, different personality. You have to get used to either some brakes being more sensitive or some not being as sensitive, things like that. There are a lot of things you have to get used to. And one of the main things you have to get used to as an organist is playing instruments with different actions. Um, this instrument is what we call mechanical action. And that means that we actually have um, the ability to physically influence the opening of the palate of the pipe. So you can, make the, you can make it sound very different, as opposed to an electric current, which is sent from uh, an electrodramatic action. If you hit a key on an electric current, um, then it ends up sending to the pipe. And it usually always sounds the same. And it's very even, and it's very reliable. Um, but this allows you to have an, a mechanical action, allows you to have an extra level of expressivity. Some of the most unique sounds on this instrument are in individual stops. Um, and for example, the first one I'll talk about is part of the string family. Um, it's on the positif, which is this manual, and it's called the solitional. And it sounds really, really nice, a lot like a German romantic solitional. And that, as you can hear, as I go down the range of the keyboard, the sound changes. And that's what keeps it so interesting. Another sound that I think is really interesting um, is a combination of a string stop and a flute stop. And that's on the swell. The viola da gamba being the string stop and the borden being the flute stop. And when I pull out a flute on the positive, this being the positive, this being the swell, and combine them, it has a lot of character. It's a very eclectic instrument, um, and it has the ability to play a wide range of repertoire. But one in particular that I think fit extremely well is a piece by Duraflay. It's the Prelude and Fugue on the Name of the Land. Um, and you'll hear at the beginning some flute stops. Um, and then eventually the left hand will move up to the top manual here, the swell. And you'll hear some string stops in combination with flute stops in the right hand. Some of the different color stops on the instrument, they range from loud reed stops, like this one. To softer stops, 
like flutes, for example, that sound much less present in the room, but they have such an intriguing character about them. So you can hear the different colors, and the fact that when you combine these um, all together, they really they form to make a, a larger whole that's full of character and full of color. <laughs> 